Sing, sing the set, fly like a lid jet. Looking up a slip through rain without getting wet. Count Jackson's, Grants, and Franklin's. Smile at the teller while I'm doing my banking. She see them zeros, think like Shapiro, y'all like Chappelle. I'm like the Nero, neighborhood hero. I got style, cash, and class. Corn rose, shorties till they glass. Hey, Welcome to another episode of Maximilian Must Know. This is a scent. Shopping episode sponsored by the wonderful Adriana at Decan Shop. You guys know what it is. Decan Shop is the best place online to get samples and decants of all different types of fragrances. The four we'll be speaking about today are all available at decanshop.com, and I guarantee you, you're going to find them there cheaper than you'll find them on any other website. And then you can use my coupon code MAX12 to save you an additional 12% off your entire order. These are prices that just cannot be fucked with. That is a guarantee. So let's get right into it. We have four fragrances courtesy of Decan Shop to look at today. And we're going to set it off with one from the House of Hermes, guys. This one is called Bel Ami. And this is the Vintage Formulation. Now, we have looked at a couple from this house here. Um, I own four from Hermes. I own Amber Narki, Jardin Sur la Toit, Orange Mandarin Ambri, and Vintage Equipage. Um, I still need to get the newest Privé release or Hermesence release, which is Curdange. Uh, I'd like to get a few more from the Jardin series, and I'd like to get Terre de Hermes and Voyage. Um, we actually, not too long ago, looked at uh, Hermes Tre Fresh, which uh, I really liked. This one, um, when Pure Distance M came out, and I think there's a Roja Dove scent, I think it's Danger, gets a lot of comparisons to um, to to this. Actually, that makes sense because Roja Dove did Pure Distance M. So he's done a couple fragrances that a lot of people think smell exactly like Bella Me, the vintage version. Um, the vintage version is harder to find. You can find the current version between $110 and $130 online. Need to search around for the vintage. Probably eBay is your best bet. Um, and recently they did do a flanker of this one called the Bella Me Vetiver. I like that one a lot, by the way. Now, this one, Louis Cizic did this in 1986. This is also the man who did Fahrenheit, so he's a god in my eyes, you know that. And the notes on this one are mandarin orange, sage, bergamot, lemon, and cardamom. In the middle, you're going to get carnation, patchouli, orris root, basil, jasmine, and cedar. In the base, you're going to get leather, coconut, vanilla, oak moss, amber, styrax, and vetiver. And for me... I don't know. I don't like this. This to me really smells dated and I don't get that same dated smell from um, from Pure Distance um, M. So I don't know, you know, and I think I also like the Roja Dove better. This is just, it, it's like a really, I don't really get a lot of leather. I get a lot more like dirty spice. Um, Bellamy Vetiver I think is much better than this. I'm really not a fan of this one so much that this was on my to purchase list and i took it off i'd rather get pure distance m um, because i'd like to get something from from pure distance uh and uh and i'm just not digging this one it's just really spicy it reminds me a lot of like an 80s fragrance but to me it doesn't have that like hermes signature quality i don't know you know um i i just don't think this is a this is a great scent i think there are much better leathers out there i think these 10 destroys this um, I just don't love this one, guys. Um, I think you can do a lot better, even at a dirty um, leather level. So, pass for me on this one. I'm I'm surprised myself. I thought I was really gonna like this one, but this is why you test, right? So next, let's take a look at one that gets a lot of love in the wet shaving community. This one is from a house called Alt Innsbruck. And this one is also called Alt Innsbruck. And this is an old school aftershave that came out in 1953 in Austria. And it caught flame. Two notes on this one, tobacco and mint. And you can usually find this one about 33 bucks online. Most shaving websites have this one. Another site that sponsors me, italianbarber.com has this. So if you'd like a bottle, you can get it there. Um, and so, you guys probably know I did a video for um, a, a, a um, uh, artisan shaving house called Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement. And they make aftershaves that are like 
close to niche quality. You know, they put oud in them and just really high quality ingredients. And they have one called Alfin. And um, they told me, the, the owner, Douglas, told me, he said, you know, that, that scent was sort of not supposed to be an interpretation of, of Alt Innsbruck, but sort of inspired by Alt Innsbruck. He wanted to make a scent as classic as Alt Innsbruck. And, and you know, spending time with this now, and I have uh, Alfin, I have a full bottle of it, they, they smell pretty similar to me. Um, I would say this is a more stripped down version of Alfin. I think Alfin's got some rose in it, it's got a little bit more going on, but... To my nose, they smell pretty similar. And again, to the point where I took Al Innsbruck off my to purchase list because I have Al Finn. Um, and this is awesome. If you like menthol um, in your fragrances, this one, yeah, it's menthol, a little bit of tobacco flower. It's really nice. It's really refreshing. It's great after a shave because it cools and tones the skin. Uh, it's a beautiful fragrance, but you definitely have to check it out because it's bracing. Um, and on fresh shaved skin, it's really going to open up and cool your pores. So give it a look. But I think this is really good, really well done. And if I didn't have Alfin, he actually gave me a bottle of Alfin to review. If I didn't have Alfin, I would definitely pick up Alt Innsbruck. Next up, looks more, let's look at one from the house of Rasasai. And this one is called Darige. Now, Decan Shop is now carrying mini from Rasasai, which I love. Um, I reviewed La Yukawan Prom, which I really like. It's under, it's my under $100 alternative to Tuscan leather. And this one, Darij, can be found between 40 and 70 bucks online. And the notes on it are cardamom, artemisia, and cumin at the top, rose and orris root in the middle, and sandalwood, patchouli, amber, musk, vanilla, and tonka bean in the base. And to me, it's a really sweet fragrance. Um, almost like cookie sweet uh you know it's sort of like a big vanilla bomb i don't really get much of the spice i just sort of get sandalwood and vanilla and tonka you know it's nice um would i buy this even at the 40 dollars? you could find that online definitely not um it's just you know there's nothing special to this to me um Rasasai, I think, has better. And we're going to look at more from Rasasai in this um, batch of fragrances that, that Decan Shop sent me. So I won't go gaga trying to find this one, guys. So let's finish up this week with one from the house of Atelier Cologne. This one, Ombre Nuit. Now, we have looked at a bunch from this house on, on um, sample shopping. Blanche and Mortal, Gold Leather, Orange Sanguine. Nothing that really captivated me, though. Um... I own two from this house. I own Vetiver Fatale, which I love. It's my cheaper alternative to um, Vetiver Tonka by Hermes or even Bal d'Afrique by Byredo. And I have a travel spray bottle of Atlas Cedra. Uh, there are a couple more on my list to pick up from this house. This one is on that list. Uh, so let's see if it stays there. This one came out in 2012. The notes on it are mandarin, orange, bergamot, and taggots at the top, cinnamon, orchid, and benzoin in the middle, labdanum, tonka, and patchouli in the base. You can get a 30 ml of this at 80 bucks, um, or 200 ml if you really like this for $200. And there are lots of retail locations for this, Sephora, Lucky Scent, and the Atelier Boutique in Soho. Um, I love this scent. I really, really like this. This to me smells like Grand Marnier, which is um, a French liquor where orange um, orange liquor is blended with brandy. And it's just got this boozy orange feel to it. It's awesome to me. I think that the it's not fresh orange and it's not citrus orange. It's like, it's like almost like spiced orange like a spiced hot orange tea you know you have the cinnamon in here you have the benzoin you have the tonka you have the lab labdanum it's it's gorgeous there's a gorgeous orange scent that's really the best way i could put it this will be awesome in, in really cold weather you just get that nice warming feel from it there's a little bit boozy this is great juice and i'm definitely getting a bottle of this one without doubt so guys if i'm ranking these amber noe is far and away number one Number two is definitely Alt Innsbruck. Number three, I'm going to go with Bellamy. 
um, just because at least it has some life to it. And I'm going to go with Darija at number four. I would get a bottle of Alt Innsbruck if I didn't have Alfin, and I'm definitely getting a bottle of Amber Nui. So four more next week, guys. We'll look at one from another Arab house called Al Haramain. We'll look at one from an Italian niche house called Aqua de Bellia. We'll look at one from the house of Tommy Bahama, and then we'll look at one from the house of Mont Blanc. So four more interesting fragrances to look at next week. Guys, this is possible because you go to decanshop.com, you use that coupon code MAX12. I want you to keep doing it so we can keep bringing you these videos. You're not going to find decants and fragrances cheaper. Um, and don't forget, you can also swap or sell your juice. Uh, that you're not using bottle of cologne you, you're not using anymore you don't like it get it to decan shop they'll either hit you off with store credit or buy the bottle and you can trade it for something you do like so there you go guys decanshop.com coupon code max12 my name is maximilian it's just how the playboys play man that's how we do it homie.